Well, hi, everyone, and welcome. This is Leslie Jufless with Trading Live Online, and welcome to your Daily Five. Today, I'm going to be doing a follow-up on the indexes on January 10th. You can go ahead and look up that episode if you like. Uh, on your Daily Five, I presented the topic on was the recent upside breakout on the indexes, was that going to be a go or a no? Well, we certainly have had confirmation to the upside at this point. So we're going to be taking a look at some charts. I'm going to show you what I'm looking at on the indexes. And we're also going to be taking a look at the stock Adobe with symbol ADBE. Uh, and I'm going to show you kind of a change of leadership that I'm seeing on the indexes as well. So let's go ahead and get right to the charts. So we're going to start with the Dow Jones Industrial. This is a daily chart of the Dow Jones Industrial. And uh, back in October, you can see the strong move that the Dow had. Now this trend line here from all the way back from 2021, early 2022, had been uh, showing us where the resistance was in price. Now the Dow was the first index to get above this trend line. The um, NASDAQ was way behind in getting to this trend line. And the S&P was somewhere around uh, the middle in between the Dow and, and the NASDAQ. So the Dow Jones Industrial had been leading for this uh, time period. Um, have some Fibonacci retracement um, on here. The one that I want to focus on today is from this high uh, to this low. So you could see how the Dow Jones had gotten uh, right through the 382, had gone to the 0 0.50, which was right at the trend line, came back and retested that 0.382 and then was able to break through the resistance of the trend line. This blue line is also showing us where resistance was um, that it uh, got through in early November. So since then, it has gone through the 0.618 retracement um, and the 786 is likely the next area for the Dow. But when you're using Fibonacci retracements and you're using a ladder uh, such as this, you can kind of gauge the strength of a market by the retracements. Uh, so you're sort of reading um, underneath the surface. So as an example of that, as the Dow uh, approached the 382, notice how there was no resistance at that level. This is usually a resistance on a retracement. The market will find some sort of uh, reaction to. And here it really did not get any. It did get a bit at the 0.50 as I mentioned, but then it only came back and tested that 382. This is an example of what was once uh, resistance is now support. And your Fibonacci levels will uh, work that way. So you can gauge by this that there is underlying strength in the market. So the 0.618 level uh, just fluttered around and then popped up. And uh, this back here, this is where the last year daily five was a breakout from this consolidation to the upside. So now you can see that the Dow, um, this leg to the downside, we had a day where we had a pretty strong move to the downside, but the markets have bounced uh, right, right back up. So take a good look at this area because we're going to compare this to the NASDAQ and the S&P. And I also want to um, bring your attention to the RSI here. When the Dow started this move to the upside. Look at the strength in the uh, relative strength index. You can see here on the test of this low, look at how the RSI was already climbing, showing strength in the index and um, made a peak up here and then hovered at those highs uh, until it reached the top here and then come back down. So on this test back up, um, the Dow uh, still showing some strength, but certainly not as strong as this move to the upside. So we want to pay attention to that with the price as we're looking at the other indexes. 
So with that, let's take a look at the NASDAQ on a daily chart. And we can see uh, the trend lines here. I've just I've drawn one from the, the absolute highs um, across the highs. And I've drawn, drawn one using the, um, the open and the closes. So that gives just a, a little bit of a fan on those trend lines. And you can see how they held a support here, and resistance. But now the NASDAQ uh, is showing uh, more relative strength than the Dow Jones Industrial is. So I just showed you an illustration on the RSI, the Relative Strength Index, and look at the comparison of the NASDAQ. Um, notice how it was, you know, climbing sharply here with this rally. As it got to the trend line, the RSI had a pull back and it held um, just around that 50 level. And that's a very bullish sign. The other thing I've noticed is that right above these peaks right here on the RSI, that's where this peak was on that test. And now the NASDAQ is showing enough strength for the RSI index to be climbing up into the higher levels. And that's a bullish, that's a bullish signal. Um, it's just closing now right around where this congestion area is. It's been a bit of a good move to the upside here. Maybe we get a little bit of a consolidation. Um, anything below these lows would be very negative in my opinion, but I am expecting to see based on what I'm seeing on the charts here, I'm expecting to see further upside coming in the NASDAQ. Now the Dow Jones Industrial had done quite a bit more of a retracement from the highs from 2021 to the lows last October. So the NASDAQ still has some more catching up to do, but again, it is showing us signs of, of relative strength. All right, now let's take a look at the S&P 500. This is the futures chart and this is on a daily chart, but we can see the trend lines coming down. These I have in different colors, makes it a little bit easier to see. I know I've got a lot of lines around here, but uh, sometimes on some of my charts, um, I will just keep on some support and resistance areas and some trend lines because I find that very helpful um, when the market is you know, getting into a new area, breaking resistance, or it's sort of stalling around um, a particular level. I like to go back and look back on the chart and see what that might correspond to. So an example here, we can see that the market made it through this trend line here. So this is the trend line that's using the um, absolute high. And then once it uh, hit this point, just extended that line, uh, trend line down, and you can see the points where it held as resistance. Now this pink line I'm using again, I'm using the open um, of this big uh, emotional bar here, that big bearish candle, and uh, I'm extending that across. And you can see how it um, also uh, is now acting as a resistance level. It's intersecting with this horizontal blue line. So let's, like I just said, let's uh, look left as I like to say, and let's use my horizontal red cursor and we can follow this back. But you can see this price level, how much trading has happened around this price level. What I think is the most interesting is this level from 2021. So the market had come up uh, to new highs and then came into a bit of a consolidation and found support at the same price level that was right around the high of today. So it's testing, just testing that level. And a break above it is also likely going to be breaking this trend line and breaking through that resistance. But again, look at the difference. The NASDAQ prices had been way down, way down here and then started to climb up. So back at January um, 10th, when I did the, um, the breakout, was it a go or a no? We were back right about, oh, back two more days, actually right about, right about here. It had just broken out to the upside, came back um, last week when we had that big dip down and see how it just tested 
that breakout level again. So this level right here is going to be an important low for the S&P market uh, to hold right now. And that low is right around the 3900 level. And of course, these lows right here are going to be important as well. But again, um, the RSI is showing strength on that pullback. The RSI held in a bullish uh, position, and it would be expecting uh, more movement to the upside, maybe a little bit of a consolidation, and then a breakthrough here. Now, if you remember back when the market had that uh, very fast uh, move up, broke the trend lines, but then came immediately back down for price rejection. So that's going to be uh, the next level on the upside, 41.80, uh, once it gets through these levels here to be to be monitoring. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at with the indexes right now. And now I want to take a look at uh, symbol ADBE Adobe. Now, if you remember, I said um, it appears to be a change in leadership. And I think the tech stocks and the NASDAQ um, and, of course, some of the S&P are going to be... Um, uh, starting to move ahead of the Dow now. And Adobe is one stock that is having um, an upside breakout um, from this coiling period from last November uh, to just um, just broke out. Just uh, let's see, what was that? Actually, today, that was the breakout on it. So I had sent this chart out uh, over the weekend to the subscribers on my on my list for our weekly market setups. So this is showing quite a bit of strength. Notice how the RSI was holding uh, up here in this very bullish position as this coil was forming. So this gap here uh, is um, likely, I think, to be broken. It might get a little bit of testing around this area, but I do believe Dobie has more upside uh, to go with this breakout. So you might want to be looking through some of the big tech stocks that had been really beaten down. Um, I did a Your Daily Five on that last year on um, the giant, some of the giant tech stocks uh, were very bearish at the time, but now they seem to be coming back to life and uh, maybe ready for a sizable uh, rally to the upside. Well, that's it for me today on Your Daily Five. Thank you very much for joining me. Once again, I'm Leslie Jufless of Trading Live Online, and I'll see you on your next Daily Five. Hey guys, Dave Keller here with StockCharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.